Oh, welcome to Figure Talk. This is Ramno from Toys TV. This time it's a new series from DID. They call them Palm Hero. Palm Hero DID. It is actually it's one to twelve scale action figures. Uh, at the very beginning, they released many uh, World War Two like their one six scale series, World War Two German. Uh, some you know Winston Churchill, and some you know some movie oriented figures. But uh, they try to do so new series for Samura. It is not easy to find a very good and a complete series of Japanese medieval Samura or any Daimyo figures in a very systematic way. So uh, that's why I, I try to encourage them to this to do this series. So I'm very happy they released the first one. It is the Takeda Shinjin, one of the most famous Daimyo in this era. Most people would, would know that uh, the older Lobogana is the you know just like the main character in this historical era. But actually, there's so many famous daimyo and, and they fight each other for their glory and land, or for the people. So it is a very interesting uh, era of the medieval history in Japan. Anyway, we're going to do a figure review, and I hope you like that. Enjoy. Oh, now you can see the package, the outlook of this DID 1 Trout Scout Palm Hero Takeda Shinjin. Uh oh, very nice, right? And um, probably I know that some some companies, a few companies, has already released some um, 1 Trout Scout action figures, mainly from the mainland China. They try to do some midday for you know, um, Crusaders, uh, World War II German, or modern on Vietnam, a few from the Japanese medieval, you know, daimyo, but I don't think they continue. So I hope that, I really wish that uh, DID can continue this series. And I think that this would be a very, you know, a popular one. Or actually, there should be many, you know, uh, regular collectors, uh, they would try to collect them in a regular or reliable basis. So I hope that it will be interesting, you know, if you can see the whole battle scene from you know the Takeda Shinjin and and his uh, you know the great enemy fight on on the grassland with a lot of you know horse samurai I don't know you know hundreds and thousands of men fighting each other it would be a very very typical and classical romantic scene for me you, you know uh, we we cannot make it in a one six scale but in one twelve scale. And at least we can do a diorama for some, you know, serious character or, or some, you know, in the exhibitions. Uh, it could be a very wonderful scene, I could imagine. So, let's see the magical series from DID. The packaging style is very close to the 160L style. And at the same time, they have the very useful backdrop from the packing very good official pictures from the real life product the general west i call it i know there is a specific name for that tiger skin in one twelve scale and, uh, You could see I just finished posting the Takeda Shinjin sitting on his chair and beside this is the box for the display or contain the samurai armors of himself and also the stand and also the the sword and we can wear this vest on his armor directly no need to put it remove the armors but I dare not to do here in the programs because I want to show you how to put release the armors on the stand first of all I would like to like to show you the, the face mask armor 
so it is very difficult one in this era and I have to tell that most of the parts of this one child scale to get the chain is in plastic mainly ABS or some PVC um, I understand that uh, if we do it in you know, metal parts it would be very difficult and very in becoming very fragile so they 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 give up not to use uh, the, the metal one as many of the samurai armor actually is not 100% in metal it also containing materials of paper and animal skin and leather etc during this period of time the acquisition of metal is not a very easy way so it, 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 it is a very deluxe and you know a difficult way to produce an armor in armor plates like in the western world but because of their skillful experience and technique they can still maintain or you know produce some strong armor for the samurai at the time actually Takeda Shinjin is one of the most famous daimyo at that period and he fought uh, older very peacefully a few tough wars battles against older uh, but there is a turning point when uh, Takeda Shinjin was suddenly died of illness in the battle scene and for his thought of military strategies Takeda Shinjin is a fan of you know Chi Chinese Xunzi and or Song Lam Fo San this slogan actually is from the Chinese famous military leaders generals called Xunzi All the armor is in plastic but painted very carefully and precisely to show the, the, the texture and the surface characteristic of this armor. Most of the Japanese armor is consists of strings. The strings link all the dif different plates of armor together to make it more elastic but at the same time a good protective things for the samurai. This guy looks very decent and if I didn't tell you that it is one trial scale you might not know but you see it is so small so the armor is in mainly orange or red color it is typical representations of Takeda and this helmet is also a unique style of, Take of Takeda Shinjin also the decorations it is unique for him uh, even though this is made of plastic the paint jobs is still a very difficult one complicated and as I as far as I know from the designers from the ID teams like the chest armor they have to use six different molding plates to do the painting because they are not a flat one so they are like a cone shape for human body so they have to do use different mode for one size front size of this armor using six mode to do the paint jobs and so you can see very closely there's almost 10 levels of different colors and they have to do it one by one even with mold painting or by hand painting so the job the painting job is very difficult and complicated and that's why there is a high cost of productions and the sword is made of metal and this sword is made of metal plate instead of die cast mold metal and this is this supposed to be a wooden stand and wooden box but actually this is also made of plastic besides the pair of hands including with the body and there's also six other different hands provided as you can see all the costume is made of fabric not plastic so it looks realistic 
and elegant okay let me show you how to remove the armor and place it on the stand I finally did that and it takes me about 20 minutes to put it back on the stand uh, I think it's not as much as difficult if I put it back on the Samura body so uh, okay I won't do that in the video so okay let's laugh anyway thank you for watching and and this is you know spend me 20 minutes to put it on the stand and not too difficult but it needs some time and uh, we need to put all the string position in the very best way you can see the string here already loosened and i cannot put it back so forgive me but anyway it looks typical way and it looks you know a realistic way to show the japanese samurai armors on the classical stand it looks really well right Okay, that's my way to show the Takeda Sinjin in 1 to 12 scale from the ID Palm series. I like this kind of display like that. The armors, you know, Takeda Sinjin, the sword, the chair. I like that way. Anyway, I have to make it complete for myself because it would be very difficult for me to wave back the armors on the body. Anyway, my personal suggestion is to keep the armors on the figures if you don't really want to spend time because the factory do a very good job in fixing them on the body, make it tight and you can still play with different posture, growing with the sword, wearing the helmet and the armors, it looks really well. And if you remove the armor like that way, good, 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 but it takes some time. Uh, it would be a job for you to put it back on the samurai. Every money, every box you pay is worth. Okay, thank you, DID, and thank you for all the people working in the industry to bring us such a beautiful pieces. I hope you enjoyed this. This is Rhino from Toys TV. You are watching Figure Talk. And I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe my channel Brian channel. I'm gonna try my best to do all the figure talk program in English in a regular way.